We still don't know actually the root cause of the Northwest failure. But because of what we found with the second Air France failure, we needed to take corrective action to prevent similar failures from occurring. Investigators recommend attaching special plugs to the control module. In the event of another failure, these new pieces will prevent the rudder from moving too far in either direction. The changes that we've made to the control modules in the 747-400 fleet will prevent any future events of a rudder hard over. An airworthiness directive from the FAA makes it mandatory for every 747-400 to be fitted with this new technology, eliminating the risk of another failure. But still, there is another question to consider, one investigators seldom have the luxury to contemplate. With a catastrophic failure of the rudder system, why didn't Flight 85 crash? One reason, the very design of this 747. Having a split rudder is definitely an unusual feature of this airplane. And in this case, it worked in their favor uh, in the sense that if there had only been one rudder and the actuator of that rudder had failed, then 100% of the yaw control would have been deflected, which would have magnified the problem. But technology alone didn't save 404 lives. In 1985, China Airlines Flight 006 also went into a sudden roll. But that flight plummeted nearly 30,000 feet before the pilots were able to regain control. How had Flight 85 escaped the same fate? If Frank hadn't reacted the way he had, we probably would not be here to tell the story. Frank, have you got it? Yes, I think I've got it. Captain Guybe's actions in the first few seconds were critical to saving the plane. But what got it safely to the ground is another story. Every pilot in that cockpit knew what was going on. Risks were being assessed and so on. On landing. Don't forget the rudder's attached to the nose steering. And when that happens, Mike, I'll take the teller and the brakes, and you take the yoke. Cockpit resource management is really what enabled us to think this thing through and get the airplane on the ground. I am proud to say we were like a well-oiled machine. We all did what we were trained to do. Touchdown in five. Prepare for impact. And not one single person fell apart. What do we tell the cabin? guys that we had in the cockpit were just tremendous. Everybody communicated. I'll go back and tell them. The more they know, the better. I agree. I think we should tell them exactly what's going on. I think this crew did a phenomenal job in getting this aircraft back on the ground safely. In 2003, the Airline Pilots Association awarded the crew of Northwest Airlines Flight 85 with the Superior Airmanship Award. More important than the award was the fact that um, we got the people on the ground safely. We got it. <laughs> In this day and age of automated cockpits, hand flying is in danger of becoming a lost art. We have to remember as pilots that we are there because of our flying skills. We had prepared so well for this thing that the failure was not an option.